everybody and welcome to this video where I found another email. So I am going to read this one from Nate, who is fucking killing it, BT dubs. Um, Nate says, joining the Poetic Anarchy crew has been the most rewarding adventure of my life. I've gotten to speak with Matt on on a more personal level and his encouragement and knowledge have made such a difference to my writing and my life. I've never known a more supportive group of people than the crew. It really is like a family and hands down the highlight of my week is our weekly wrap up stream, which by the way is in two hours from this moment. It's three thirty Pacific time today which is Friday. Getting to spend time with such great people and hear their amazing work is a great experience. I'm now gearing up to submit my poetry, and without a doubt, I never would have gotten here if it wasn't for Matt and the crew. I love you guys and girls so much. <sighs> Nate's fucking awesome. Nate is fucking awesome. So, bro, thank you for that, brother. I'll, I'll do this. Let me look and I'll tell you what we're going to be going over here soon. So these are the things that we're going to be talking about here um, in the coming weeks. Um, the importance of building a poetry library. We're going to be talking about trauma poems, which sounds scary. We're going to be talking about our own slush pile and what to do with that and um, how to navigate it. Then we're going to be going into a lot more publishing shit. We're going to be talking about like, and this will probably be a project where each of us make our own zine and um, do something with that. We're also going to be talking about how to make art books, how to make chat books, how to make ebooks, how to make print books. Um, so that's going to be kind of an ongoing thing for us there. We are also going to be talking about doing poetry readings. I have huge fucking news, okay, that I'm going to be um, sharing with the Anarchy crew today during our uh, members only stream. Um, I don't know when I'm going to make the big announcement, but um, something very large scale is happening next year. And um, I want the Anarchy crew to be the first to know about it and the first to kind of help out with that and figure out how we're going to do that thing. But honestly, one of the biggest things to me with poetry and, and with fucking any art in general is that you have to live life, you know? Like, you can be a great technical craftsman, you know, whether it is in poetry, in prose, in painting, in sculpting, or whatever. You can be so fucking good at what you do because you have the knowledge of how to do that thing. But if you don't live life and if you don't go out and step out of your comfort zone a little bit and do things that are a little crazy every once in a while, like, what are you doing? Like, you need to live in order to take that and put it into your art. And when you do that... Your art becomes vibrant. Your poetry becomes vibrant. Your writing has a fucking spark to it. And it's one of those intangible qualities that people can't point at. But so many of you, I know, have read books that are a good book, but it doesn't, like, make your fucking soul sizzle. You know what I'm saying? So many of us have seen paintings that were just like, yeah, that, that's, that's a painting. You know, but a lot of it, and this is like when I'm getting all weird and spiritual and metaphysical and shit, but a lot of this, the thing that makes things pop, 
is this transference of excitement that you can only put into something if you lived that thing and you've done something a little crazy. And so one of the things that has been this ongoing thing through the weeks and months that the Anarchy crew has been doing the Poetic Anarchy shit is to figure out little things that you can do that push you that just that inch a little further so you can live life in a different way, live life in an exciting way so you could take that and put it into your fucking work. So your work pops out at people when they look at it. I know, I know this sounds fucking crazy, but it's legit shit. Like, there are certain things that people can, like, subconsciously or spiritually pick up on when they see something. And you don't have to believe it. Like, fuck, there's hundreds and hundreds of years of artists who've been fucking, like, making a killing off of being able to do that to people. So... Whatever. So anyway, Anarchy Crew, um, join, God damn it! Uh, if you go to poeticanarchy.com, you can take the first five lessons for free before even joining to see if you even want to fucking do this. I suggest you do it. Go over to my Etsy shop, pick up Last Chance, poems about Last Chance gas stations. I have tons of other shit all over the place, and I think maybe I'm going to start, like, mixing it up a little bit and pulling out older chapbooks and stuff and showing them to you guys. So anyway, do the thing, hit the join button, type hard, and join us. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.